Hey, my name's Sam from Core Electronics and I wanted to share a bit about a project I just built which is my sound effects buzzer button. And it's pretty cool, it's a really nifty, you know, gizmos type project that you can keep on your desk, take to parties, have somewhere, and pretty much you press the button and a different sound effects uh, will play and you can load up uh, your own samples or you can download the sample pack that I put together on the tutorial, so if I'm in the mood to hear my friend Aiden's voice of wisdom about our warehouse mottos, I just get a trust the system, which is pretty cool. So I'll take you for a quick rundown on how I built it. So the uh, the bottom lid just lifts off, it's a press fit in. And I've got a AA battery pack with three AA's to power it all. Um, and it'll last for quite a long time on that, it's pretty good. Uh, I've got the Adafruit sound effects mini board, the two meg version on here, which is such an awesome product. You just connect it to your computer and it acts like a USB drive and you just load the sounds that you want to play on there. It supports uh, OGG, WAV files, doesn't support MP3 though uh, because of licensing. And depending on how you name them, uh, controls which of the trigger inputs is going to trigger that sound. There's 11 inputs and you can also name them to get different effects such as randomized playing or you can sequence different sounds from the one button, which is what I did. So when I press it, it cycles through all the sounds and then goes back to the start. Uh, the output of that hooked up to an Adafruit 2.5 watt uh, mono amplifier which drives the 3 watt speaker I've got in here. Pretty cool bit of gear. Uh, I've got it using a dome, big red dome button from SparkFun which is really cool. They come in colors other than red but the biggest issue I had was how to put it all together because originally I thought well I'll just mount the speaker on the bottom, it'll drive downwards, put some standoffs, no worries but the height of the thing was going to be ridiculous. Um, you know 15, 20 centimeters and it just wasn't you know a compact portable project so it turns out the diameter of the speaker was exactly the same as the uh, the clear acrylic top for the dome button so what I did was yeah the switch here just twists out and I'll take it apart and show you how it's put together so these two clips you just press those in and it pops out here is I hacked the top assembly for the button to pieces, grabs the clip, uh, epoxied that to the back of the speaker, and then I epoxied the speaker to the acrylic dome, and I printed out a collar here to fill the space and you know give it a bit of color, which is pretty cool, so you get a really nice smooth action, and it just clips back into place like so. Pops back in, and you get your nice switch action, and then you can um, twist that back in. So it's not really designed to be taken apart all that often. I've used solid core wire to make sure, uh, you know, just to hold everything together and you get that nice click. And then a power button wired up to the uh, battery enclosure so that you can turn it on um, and off as you want. You can cycle through your sounds. You get my friend Aiden. Now I recorded some sounds of our team, some favorite phrases that get thrown around that warehouse quite a bit. It's a pretty rough sample pack. I'd, I like to go through and uh, re-record them, polish them up, make them really nice and you can feel like you hear it, Core Electronics a bit, or you can load whatever you want up there. You could grab some uh, sound samples from The Simpsons, you could record uh, whatever it is you want. It just cycles through. Um, those two ones aren't great, they're a little bit quiet, but then you get our friend Gordon, the man behind the logistics magic. He's shipping out your orders, being all like, You're a drug. Yeah, I know. Or, I'm all about it. He's all about it. So yeah, it's a pretty fun project. I've put pretty much most of the build process that I went through with some pictures, uh, wiring diagrams, so you can follow it through on the projects page. So if you'd like to build one, then put a post up in our forum. I'd love to see how you guys remix this project. Um, that's all for today, guys. Check out some of our other projects at coreelectronics.com.au.